Yo, what up? It's your boy, Amir Perry. Welcome back to the channel for another episode of Death's Dope. So look, today I got this pretty dope guitar loop I found. Sound like something maybe uh, Gunner would rap on. I can hear Turbo flipping it for Gunner and him doing this thing on it, but I'm gonna put that Amir Perry sauce on it. I got a flight in about uh, six hours, so we're gonna try to cook up some magic real quick, then I gotta pack and get the hell out of here, so let's get right into it. So the first sound we got is this guitar loop that I just loaded in uh, contact. It sounds like this. All right, just playing the same thing over and over, so let's go ahead and record that. All right, so up next we're going to my old faithful x -Pen. Uh This is a sound that's called Resonating Lead. It sounds like this. Sound kind of like a, a ghostly, got a ghostly vibe. We're playing melodies with this, but I always talk about sounds and texture. This, with the way the guitar moving, this particular sound just feels like it just fits because the way the guitar is moving, it feels kind of spooky to me. That's the only way I can put it. It feels a little bit spooky. But um, anyway, let's go ahead, let's add this. All right, so up next, we're going back to expand. This sound is called bell pad. It sounds like this. Like I said, uh, expand always has something. It's always a sound in there. It's always sounds in there I could use. If you guys got Pro Tools, I'm telling you, dig and expand. I can't say enough good stuff about it. I got so many sounds, but for whatever reason, it's just something about expand that it's just the sounds just fit but anyway let's go ahead let's add this so we're going to another stock pro tools plugin this uh this is called vacuum and I actually just twisted the knobs to get it to sound like something I wanted it to sound like. It sounds like this though. When I was twisting the knobs, trying to come up with a sound to fit in here, uh, this particular sound, I wanted it to sound like there's a a, a sound in this Fuji song. Uh, the, the name of the Fuji song is Ready or Not, but. Um, it's a sound that's in the background. Now, I don't know if the original sound is like a woodwind instrument or not, but I wanted it to sound like that. So sounds pretty close. And we're gonna add this on the second half of the verse. So let's go ahead, let's add that. All right, so we got a good foundation so far. Let's go ahead and start working on the drums.
Last but not least, you know we got to put some boom on it. You know, I always just like to lay down a bass track. I'm going to go in here and mess around with the 808 a little bit, clean that up, copy it over where it needs to go, then we'll listen to it from the top. The beat came out dope, real simple. You know, with these kind of beats, you really don't need a whole lot. It's all about building up the feel of the beat. It's the vibe. Uh, I'm, I'm always thinking about the vibe. I'm always thinking about uh, what, what people uh, are gonna feel when they listen to the beat. But if I can build that up and get that feeling there, like adding the drums is just the icing on the cake. That's why I always add the drums last. It's just something about building up that feeling. And when I got that groove, Everything else is just so much easier. But anyway, as always, I want to know what did you guys think about the beat? Drop a comment below. Let me know. Also, don't forget to hit that like button for me. If you disliked it, don't forget to hit that thumbs down twice. All right. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Arrivederci.